This video illustrates a reproducible and useful technique for the reduction of a midfoot Charcot deformity. This strategy is something that is applied in order to restore a normal architecture within the foot and therefore is able to recreate a plantar grade shape which will evenly purchase the ground during stance and gait. A Charcot breakdown within the midfoot could involve any combination of tarsal joints and can even include a mid-body fracturing of these bones. This deformity renders the foot vulnerable for increased pressure points and ulceration which can lead to further breakdown and osteomyelitis deform. This relatively generic strategy begins with assembling the foot from posterior to anterior. To start this, a tendo Achilles lengthening will allow mobility within the ankle to bring this rear foot to a normal alignment. When the rear foot is able to be reduced into an optimal position, the soft tissue must now be addressed. This soft tissue has been present the whole time and the illustration is now showing this. The capsule and fibrous hypertrophic tissue should be dissected and joint exposure will likely benefit better visualization and access to these bones. With the release of this soft tissue, the forefoot segment can hinge in a more optimal angulation. This angulation is intended to be in a straight line across the arch of the foot. The orientation of this osteotomy is designed to be relatively perpendicular to the intended axis of this medial column. The osteotomy is also placed at the junction to divide the difference between the two overhanging segments and split this difference. The fragments of the overhang are removed when the osteotomy is complete. Next, the reduction can be shifted into position. At this point, alignment is held and fixation can be placed, either with external fixation or with locking plates in a ladder plating technique shown in this video. Your ultimate goal is to create a stable super construct in this illustration as shown.